Yes. Hey guys, the <clears throat> the Cauldron Witch here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hi Phoebe. And um, I wanted to show you guys my little bookshelf. Um, just to give out some recommendations on what you guys maybe would like to read. I know anytime I'm looking for a new book, I am scrolling on YouTube for like three hours trying to find uh, like a good book that I want to read. So figure just post this out. Maybe I can help some of you guys. Um, yeah. So this is my bookshelf. We need a flash because it is dark as hell in my little cave. <clears throat> now, like it's not a big bookshelf and not, you know, it's just this. But <clears throat> hopefully, one of you guys. Will be like, oh my god, that looks like such a good book. I love this guy for posting this video. He's so fucking amazing. Yay. Okay. So, we're gonna start over here. So, this is not a book. This is my gay and tarot, and I love this deck. But this is like over here because like, this is my divination, like little area of books that I have. And. I swear, this book and this book is exactly the same, but okay. Um, personally, I feel... No, actually, I'm lying to you. I am so lying to you. This book pretty much kind of just gives you, like, the history, background, and the cards. Well, this one gives you, like, so much detail in when it comes to the tarot cards and reading tarot. If you are into reading tarot cards... If you want to, if you already have been reading tarot cards for fucking years, but you don't have that book, please get that book and let me know if y'all like it. Because I fucking love it. I, it's amazing. It helped me go from, like, here to, like, all the way up there when it came to reading tarot cards. So, it was a big help. This is just... Um, you know, like when you get a deck and then it comes with a book, this is just a book to one of the decks I have, and it's not even a tarot deck, it's a, just a divination tool, they call it. I have the tarot bible, oh, this is very uncomfortable, so I'm going to switch my position. I have the tarot bible, which I don't read <laughs> at all. Um, it explains the cards, which I love, um, and then I just go straight to the layouts because um, that's just too much to fucking read. Um, and I'm not really a book person when it comes to reading the tarot, so, yeah, I just have it for the layouts. The complete, um, book of divination, I did not read this. The only thing I have read out of this book is the, um, runes and how to read runes, and that's because I recently got myself a bag of runes, and they're being, they're currently being blessed right now. On the altar. So, yay. Um, but yeah, so that's all I've read. But I just, I, I don't know, what I've read, it's so far a good book. I like it. It seems to have a lot of fucking knowledge. Knowledge, oh my god. A lot of, like, you know, things. Wow, that makes so much fucking sense. I'm gonna just move on. It's a good-ass book, though. It has a lot of information. That's the goddamn word. <sighs> anyway. So, if you are into divination, I feel like that's just a book you should have for, you know, fun, if you want, if you are, like, for me, I really do read my bo uh, books from cover to cover, but when it comes to, like, this book, this book, this book, um, that's probably about it. When it comes to, like, just the bigger books, I don't read cover to cover. Unless I have, like, literally nothing to read. But it has all the good information, so. Oops. Um, now, this over here up to, like, this book, so this to here, is, um, like, my little self-development books, my little area, that's what I call it. And this is Advanced Witchcraft by Eden McCoy. I hope I said that right. Um... I loved that, um, you know, that book is a real 50-50, um, I wrote down how I felt about it, and I actually think, I think there's a video 
like I think I did like a book review on it so if I did then you guys know how I feel about it if I didn't and you want to know how I feel about it let me know because I actually wrote it down but I feel pretty 50 50 about it but it is a good book nonetheless I am happy to have it in my bookshelf um choosing to be a medium uh, that book I love there is a lot of exercises there's a lot of meditations there's a lot of a lot of things that helps you become a medium and for me it works I have had like experiences that I just I, I wasn't even looking for at the time I was just reading the book and just reading it I went through some shit so yeah um this book is Auras, How to uh, See Them in Only 60 Seconds. Um, I actually think I wrote down how I felt about that, too. And I didn't, you know, it's just, I feel like that book just had a lot of nonsense in it. You know, it tells you how to read, how to see Auras in only 60 seconds. Um, in, like, chapters one and two, and maybe even three. And then after that, it's just a bunch of nonsense that I just didn't need to even read. Um, Psychic Witch, I'll be honest, I have not re fully read it, but that's because personally where I am now, I don't want to finish the book, and I want to just pause, focus on other things right now, and then continue. And I have a lot of things to do. I it's a, it's a book where, you know, it has a lot of activities, you go with it. So I read a lot to where I'm like, okay, hold up. I need to really spiritually get to this point in the book. So I just closed it and put it back. But it is a really fantastic book. I highly, highly recommend it. I have worked um, meditations from that book and it is exquisite. I have um, manifested through magic and through spells um, some things that I've you know, taken from the book into magic, and it is manifested greatly, so I highly recommend that book. The Circle Within, highly fucking recommend that book. That book really changed my perspective on magic, on life itself, and being a witch, and it really just shows you how everything is connected, how you should, li oh god, I just love that book. It's, it's so, it's so amazing, you just have to get it, okay, okay. <laughs> All right, so from here to here is all my natural witchcraft, my, you know, earth magic kind of stuff. Um, haven't read this yet. This is new. I got this for Christmas. Haven't read it. Everybody knows, I believe, the Encyclopedia of Magical Herbs. It's one of the most talked about books when it comes to the craft nowadays. And... Personally, I actually gave this book away at first because I thought like, you know, I didn't really need it and it wasn't until I didn't have it I realized how much I needed it. So I would really say I recommend getting the book if you have the book and you will have you if you have that feeling if you have I said that like four times including that time. If you do have that feeling of like not like you have it, but you just don't you know feel like you need it. Trust me. You need it. Trust me, because the second you'll get rid of it, I promise you, you're going to be like, why the fuck did I do that? Okay. Um, Earth Power and Earth, Air, Fire, and Water are also by Cunningham. And these, like, they, these books go together. Um, and I personally love it. It just gives a very good basics on Earth Magic and Natural Witchcraft. And there is a lot of spells, divinations, that only use what earth provides <clears throat> sorry excuse me so it's a really good ass book for me i have this drawing i'm very drawn to natural magic and only using what our ancestors were only able to use so that's that um the green witch now look if you have no knowledge on green witchcraft and earth magic and natural witchcraft and stuff like that, that it's a very good book. If you are a little more advanced, it really, you, you don't need it. You know what I mean? You can get it. It was a good read in my opinion. You just don't need it though. Um, 
I think though what I do love about it though, it what I love about these books is like some of them have their own little encyclopedia and a lot of stuff that isn't even in here. So and I think it has that. No, I know it has that, so I love it. That is book. Okay. This I think like from here to like here, it's just like, you know, practical magic stuff. But this book I've like explained before. I think um how that was my first witchcraft book and it wasn't this book exactly because the first book I got got burned but um this book is amazing in my opinion it is one of the books that really jump kicked my start in being a witch and even though I'm not a fan of the author at all I am in love with that book so I will say this book does have its flaws but as long as you just have the right perspective, you can look past through those flaws and enjoy the book. Now this is the Goisha. I don't recommend anybody getting this book. First and foremost. It is, um, long story short, a book on demons and the lesser key of Solomon the king. Um, look, if I could honestly go back and just take that book out of the bookshelf, I really would have. Um, I have it, I don't even know why I have it. I actually didn't buy it for myself, I remember that, that's why I have it. <laughs> it wasn't supposed to be mine, but who I bought it for, obviously, like, wasn't gonna keep it. He, uh, I bought it for my friend who was like interested on like a book on demons and then when he like saw it he read it and then he like wasn't going to bring it home probably because of his parents so I was like you know what, I'll just keep it and I like it you know not for nothing you know it, it gives you a lot of um perspective I'll tell you that um I do not work with anything that is in the Goisha and um, don't judge anyone who does work with the Goisha. Um, it's just I'm personally not mature enough in my practice to work with the Goisha. I think I would definitely need way more knowledge than what I do have. Um, yeah, I did not read that book back um, like cover to cover. But what I did read, I liked it. Um, there is sigils in that, hi, oh my god, kitty, there is sigils in that book that I would use, most definitely, kitty, um, and the information is good to have though, because if by any rare ass chance you do run into one, you have info on it. So, there's that, but I did not get the book in order to work with or to have any experience with the Goisha. Yeah. Um, Protection and Reversal Magic by Jason Miller. Oh my god, this is a good-ass motherfucking book, let me just tell you. This book... First of all, if it wasn't for the sigil that's in this book, I would be using this sigil. And I believe that Jason Miller actually created that sigil all on his own. Um, this book is fucking amazing. I believe there's some... I don't know. Maybe not. I thought maybe there was another book in here by him. I don't know. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, don't know. I gotta stop. So... Long story short, this is basically, uh, like, everything you need to know on protection magics. This has given me a witch who has had many protection spells experiences. It has given me so many more experiences that I could do. So many more spells that I could try out. So many more ideas it gave me. There's, um, a psychic alarm protection spell in here. That is just fucking phenomenal. And I think every witch should have that shit set up in their house. Um, yeah, maybe I'll even do a video on it one day if y'all want. But, yeah, that's that. Maybe I won't. I don't know. I don't know if I could. Because it's a book. I don't know. But, yeah, there's that. Um, now this, you can see how fucking old it is. It actually doesn't even have the front cover anymore. But this is The Magic of Incense, Oils, and Brews by Scott Cunningham. And 
it basically just goes into the history and the magics behind incense oils and brews and what you can do with them and i just i love it, it it's a short book it's an easy read and if you are like me and just want all the knowledge you can absorb about magic that is a perfect good ass book to explain the magic of incense oils and brews so and it's got so many like hold on i just want to should we look at like this drawing forgot my eyes aren't the camera <laughs> like it has so many of these drawings oh look at that oh look at that if you like to color, you could probably, like, you could color in these. Oh, my God, look at that. Oh, yeah, if you like to color, you could definitely go crazy with this. I don't. I'm no artist, but, oh, my God. So, there's that. I'm just going to put you right here for a second while I put this back. Because it takes two hands because I am a little bitch. Okay. Moon Spells is a very very good ass book honestly i you i should probably be telling you the author's names but you have been staring at this long enough to, to figure it out so there's that moon spells is really really good it's basic um but again if you don't if you have no knowledge uh, or little to no knowledge on moon magic it's a really good ass book it tells you basically everything you would need to know for the most part when it comes to incorporating the moon. Um, yeah. Practical Sigil Magic by... I'm not going to pronounce that, but you can see who it's by. You've been staring at this for so far 16 minutes. Um, this, um, how do I put this? I, okay, look, I liked it. I really did. Um, I feel like there's at times he kind of goes into some like tangents, but you know, really on God, on God, who doesn't, you know, when you're an author and you're writing a book, it is, it's bound to happen. So other than that, it's a really good book and it, and it helps me and my sigils a lot. So it gave me a different perspective and an outlook on it. It really helped me calm down when it came to working with sigils yeah i do recommend that book if you work with sigils there's also a book called sigil witchery that looks interesting as hell i don't know if any of you guys have read it but if you have let me know because i was interested in buying that book but i don't know um now from here to like here is um like my hoodoo conjure type of magic which is one of my favorites believe it or not even though there's not that many books on it but working conjure period point blank it was an amazing read it gave you a lot of the history on hoodoo and working conjure magic um it has its own little um like encyclopedia which i love and adore um yeah if you are interested in that type of magic that is a it really was a good book there's a lot of spells and magics in here that you can perform i definitely reference it to reference to it a few times um backwoods witchcraft wasn't really what i expected it to be but nonetheless i loved it and it gave me a new perspective on living in the Appalachian Mountains and the spirits that are here and the magic that is in these woods. So thank you to that. Thank you for that. Um, curses, Hexes, and Crossings, I believe. This, this and Cursings and Crossings. Curses, Hexings, and Crossings. Curses and Crossings. Wow, that's why. These two... Um, one it's just you know it's got spells within it but it gives a it gives the history on why witches do curses hexes and crossings um the history behind it and yeah it gives you a and in a, a really badass way especially this one explains how you can go about these type of magics especially 
um, the importance of keeping yourself cleansed and protected while stuff like that is going on. Um, now from my here to here is all of my Catholicism magic books. And this is just a book completely on selected prayers. This is the power of the Psalms, I believe is how you pronounce it. Um, oh. Which I really feel like if you work in any shape, way, or form, Catholicism, magic, Santeria, anything like that, the power of the Psalms is a must-have. Must, must, must have. 375 ways to use Psalms for love, power, revenge, success, blessings, prosperity, protections, etc. Uh, j yeah, there's no reason why I wouldn't have that book. Um, The Magical Power of the Saints. Again, if you work with, with Catholicism magic and you work with the power of the saints, it, it, it does just explain, it just gives you a list on all of the saints. Well, not even all of the saints, to tell you the truth. But most of the saints and what they can do for you if you uh, petition to them. And then it kind of just gives you a little background on magic itself and how to perform it, which I like. So, yeah. This is just the Grimoire of Santa Morte, Volume 2. And if you work with Santa Morte, these, this book is very good to get. This one and the first one. Please, I highly recommend you doing that. These two books, I'll be honest, period, point blank, were shit. Do not recommend whatsoever. A spell book and guide to ancient witchcraft and just witchcraft uh, just don't you don't need it these two are just that's my sigil journal that's my divination little journal but it like explains divination it's not like my um readings and stuff is written in there it just explains and gives you many different types of divinations down here we have some fiction we have harry potter practical magic and a dog's purpose but move that over but if you are a harry potter fan and you did not read that book you are missing out it's written like as a script so it ma it's it made that like it's already an easy read but just the fact that it's written in the script format made it twenty thousand times more easier to read and it just puts you in that perspective like if you're a witch who loves harry potter and loves reading harry potter books you know what i mean by like that visual visualization and putting yourself into that world I, I just fucking love that book um that's like based on their children and them going into oh my god it's such a fucking good book oh my god all right so over here is the sabbaths which if you do work with the wheel of the year and work with the witch's sabbaths this collection is worth having this book right here the seasonal dance was actually gifted to me and i love whoever gifted it to me i know exactly who gifted it to me oops <laughs> anyway but just for right now i don't want to you know give their info out but anyway so th this book is one book all of the sabbaths written in it doesn't have too much detail but this um collection whole book one sabbath all fucking detail it gives you old ways it gives you new ways it gives you practices you can do recipes you can cook spells you can oh yeah i already said that um no i didn't spells you can perform and divinations to practice there it just mm, it gives you so much so much information and i love it and then we have a little Chromebook of Charm Spells. Honestly, I haven't even read it. Honestly, honestly, it kind of looks like this book. If you've seen this book, if you've read this book, you know what I'm talking about. In here, it tells you, you can do a invisibility spell by grabbing a dead man's head, right? Right? It kind of has got like that same vibe. I didn't read it though, so I'm not going to say that for sure. But really, I don't. I don't know. I, I don't know if it's it's just a book. It's literally a book of spells, and when it comes to the Crohn's book of charms and spells, that makes sense because it even says in the front all of these spells like are from older spell books. So, yeah. But that's about it. I got a bunch of bones and candles and miscellaneous stuff down there. But um. Oh, I'm also reading. 
Oh my god, my legs. How did you talk to oh, oh. Hold on. I'm trying my best. I'm sure you guys have seen that stuff. I'm not going to explain it. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then you don't know. But if you do know, then you know. You've probably seen it a million times throughout this video. But anyway, hi, Magic. Um, by Philip Farber. And so far, I love it. Now, listen, so far, as a stoner personally, I already know a lot of this information, but what I love, I, I, don't, I don't think it really taught me anything new so far. It just explained a lot of things for me. It explained my experiences, but other than that, I don't think I've learned anything too much, but that's okay. I do love this book. I have so much more to read, though. Um... I believe I'm literally on this page. So I have all of that to read. And there, and it goes into so much. I'm not going to show you anymore. <laughs> but um, if you do smoke marijuana and want to incorporate that into your witchcraft, this book is amazing. It gives you a lot of history. So I, actually, I will say I did learn a lot of history that I didn't know about before. Um... But I do recommend, though, if you do smoke, I do recommend incorporating that into your practice. The results between mysticism and magic, from back and forth, the results are just going to be, in, oh my god, immaculate. It is going to be insane immaculate. So... You have no idea how cringy that word makes me feel. And I have no other word to describe the mix of both. So. There's my rooms over there being blessed. And there's Trump. Alright guys, but that's pretty much it. No, that is all. That is it. There's nothing more. I got no more books to show you. Sorry this video took so long to show you, like, I don't even know, 15, 20 books. Nah, like, maybe 20 to 30 books, but still. Um, that's it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it wasn't a waste of your time. Hope you found at least one book you might want to read. And, uh, yeah. I hope you guys have an awesome week and yeah so blessed be everybody and i'll see you next time